My name is Markus Hoffmann. I'm uh, working for iTech, a Swedish biotech company, and I'm uh, the technical director. So uh, we, our product is called Selectope. It's a biocide which is used in anti-fouling coatings to prevent biofouling, especially barnacles, which is uh, quite a big problem for the industry. You know that. Uh, um, hard fouling on hulls in, in, uh, uh, increases friction up to 50%. So the more fouling you have, the more carbon dioxide you emit. There is uh, one thing which I really uh, learned today or realized is uh, if you want to become carbon uh, zero by 2050, all the vessels being delivered in 2025, 2028 20, have to be ready. They will be around uh, in 2050. So that, that was one of the biggest uh, takeaways. Uh, another takeaway or learning was uh, there's not a golden bullet for anything. So it's always a combination of small things. Uh, um, and it's, uh, of course, there was a lot of talk about the new fuels. Uh, but they will not do it alone, so you need a combination of uh, performance improvements and it has to be a combination of many things, hull, rudder, uh, tracking, uh, wind and so on. So it, there's no golden bullet for the future. Well, it, it's, uh, it opens your eyes. So you meet people, uh, you have discussions, uh, you get new insights. Um, um, you start collaborations. Um, I think there is no alternative of meeting uh, person to person, even if it's difficult in the current times. So two things. One is, as I said before, there is not a, a golden bullet solution. So it has to be a combination of many things. And another point which has become very clear this morning in the panel discussion, uh, the shipping industry is still mainly driven by regulation. Uh, either it's you save a lot of money uh, or it's regulation which is driving, which is some surprising because a lot of the technologies save money, but you have the old question in, in shipping who invests and who takes the benefit. So that, that's, that's also one of the uh, learnings of this meeting.